Hey guys, Graham here and welcome to the Tattoo Apprenticeship video series. I've put together 22 videos where I think I'm going to cover pretty much everything you possibly need to know about apprenticeships before you go and get one. Um, if you want to start from the beginning you can click here, if not and you just want to know what this video is about then carry on watching and at the end I'll put a full list of all the videos and if there's any other topics that catch your attention you can just click on the link at the end and it will take you to the next video you want to see. So this video is going to be about um, shop apprentices and personal apprentices. Um, now a lot of people do not think about this when they're applying for an apprenticeship and they just kind of just walk into it and expect, well this is what all apprenticeships are like. But there's two different types, I mean like you can, if you go into a shop with only one tattooist in it, then it's obviously going to be a personal one tattooist apprenticeship. But if you go to a shop that has multiple tattooists in it, you're probably going to want to find out whether you're the shop apprentice and you're training under all the tattooists there or whether you're only training under one person. It'll probably be fairly evident, because if you're only interviewed by one person, then that generally means you're going to be their apprentice, whereas if you're interviewed by multiple people, and they're all standing around you being really intimidated, and then you're going to be the shop apprentice. Um, I had that happen to me, that was horrible <laughs> when I first started. Uh, it was not nice. But um, yeah, so you will need to find this out, because you're going to want to decide what type you want to go for. Obviously, you know, they are hard to come by. I know that it's not like you're going to be able to pick and choose very easily, but if you are in that situation, this could help you decide. So, personally, I prefer one-on-one -on -one personal apprentices. Um, I just did two then. One-on-one -on -one personal apprentices. And, um, you know, the reason for this is because it's the way it's always been done, and I'm all about the old way, I'm all about tradition. And, you know, I think it's the best way to do it, because you're not going to get conflicting ideas in your head, and you're not going to get told one thing by someone else and one thing by someone else and then you're going to be like, well, which is the right way and you're not going to know what to do. So I just think getting trained by one person and just picking up all their you know, techniques and just learning off, learning off them and then maybe once you've learned and you've done your apprenticeship, you know, you maybe you'll go and work in a different shop, you can pick up different things then and kind of get different ideas, but I just think it's better just to go with one person. And you know, this isn't just because, um, of that reason, it's also because if you're, you know, learning from multiple people, and one person tells you to do something one way, like they're like, oh, this is the proper way to hold a machine, and then another tattooist in the shop is like, why the hell are you holding a machine like that? It's supposed to do it like this, and then they're going to be like slagging the other person. That's, that's just drama you don't have to deal with. So personally, I just think that is the best way of doing it. But you know, some people say that it is much better to learn from multiple people and get multiple. Um, influences and just kind of mushing together and pick out the best bits, which is fair enough. I mean, I can see what people are saying, but you know, like I say, there is problems with it. It's not the perfect system, um, and you know, I just think that too many conflicting ideas is just going to confuse you, and you're you're going to be doing stuff that isn't necessarily right because you're going to be thinking, all right, they told me to do this, and you, it's just you know, you just want it to be clear, concise, to the point from one person and just get on with it and you know that's that kind of annoys me because one of my apprentices you know like um, someone else I was working with was teaching them stuff and I didn't agree with it and I was like this is it, they were my personal apprentice as well they were just teaching them stuff when I was out the shop <laughs> like who does that but yeah well <laughs> I don't work with them anymore so it's fine but um, yeah it's, I just think it's ridiculous and you know because then I've taught them stuff and they're, they're putting bad habits in their head which I consider to be bad habits and you know, so it is a bit, uh, I don't know, there's, there's points of view for each, but I think the pros for just sticking with one tattooist and just being their personal apprentice outweigh the cons. So I hope this video helped you guys out, and um, drop me a like if it did, because it helps me out back a lot, and um, I always reply to all my comments, so any advice you need, um, just let me know, stick them in a comment below, and I will get back to you, I always reply. So um, yeah, and subscribe if you're not already, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you all soon.